However, if you have a 3.2 cumulative GPA, you don't even need to take the MCAT. They claim that 80% of their graduating class goes on to medical school. What's up you guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about 14 special master's programs that will be sure to help you guys get into medical school, even if you have a low MCAT and a low GPA. Now all of these special master's programs that I'm gonna be mentioning today are offered at DO medical schools. And then all of the numbers that you guys see today, I actually went on to each individual medical school's website and found these numbers myself. And so if any of them are wrong, it is not my fault because I literally got them from the website. Now, hopefully you guys are just as excited for this video as I am because I know there really isn't a great resource out there listing out special master's programs. And so I wanted to go ahead and do that for you guys because when I was applying to medical school, I had no clue what a special master's program was. And it would have been so much more helpful to actually have a list listing out the minimum GPAs, the competitive MCATs, and all of the different stats that you need to meet in order to be accepted into one of these programs. And so before we get started, if you're new to my channel, definitely subscribe and hit that like button because it took me quite a while to go onto each medical school's page and find all the different stats. I'm sure you guys know by now that medical school websites aren't the best and they're not really that easy to navigate. And most of the time it's nearly impossible to find the minimum MCAT and GPA that they require. But I know the struggle and that's why I did this for you guys. So I just hope that you guys can at least give this video a like. And so throughout this video, I'm gonna make sure to put the stats right here next to me so that you guys can reference those as I am reading them off of my screen. Um, hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to visualize and to follow along during the entire video. Now I do wanna make mention that I will drop a link down in the description so that you guys can have access to my Google Doc. And my Google Doc is where you can find the list of schools, all of the minimums, all of the competitive stats, and even the percentage of students that are accepted into the medical school upon completion of the special master's program. All right, so let's get started, enough chit chat. So let's start off with the special master's program that I did. And in my opinion, and after doing my research, it seems like your best option with regards to ease to getting into the program, as well as they have really good statistics on the percentage of students that complete this program and go on into the medical school. So Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences is where I attended. Um, they don't have a minimum GPA and they don't have a minimum MCAT. They do, however, state that a competitive GPA is a 3.0, but you do not need a 3.0 to apply to this school. They also list that a 495 MCAT is competitive for the program. Now, KCU claims that 90% of the students that graduate go on to professional school, and 50% of those students actually get accepted into the Kansas City University School of Medicine. The second school I have on my list is Midwestern University, and it's important to know that they have two camps Campuses, and they both, I believe, offer the special master's program. They do, however, have a minimum GPA of a 2.75 cumulative, and they do not have a minimum MCAT. You guys are going to notice that most of the schools do not have a minimum MCAT, and so if you guys have a 480 or a 490 or whatever, you're most likely going to get accepted if you meet the GPA requirement. Now, a lot of these schools do have a minimum GPA requirement, so make sure to take that into consideration when you guys are applying to these schools. So Midwestern does not have a minimum MCAT. They have a competitive GPA of 3.2, a competitive MCAT of nothing. They don't have a competitive MCAT score. Now they claim that 68% of the students that graduate go into medical school following the program, and they have a class size of about 90 to 95 students at each location. So keep that in mind. You have double the chance of getting in. The third school is Rocky Vista, which they have a campus in Colorado as well as in St. George, Utah. And they have a minimum GPA of 2.75. That is for science and cumulative. So you have to make sure that your science GPA is 2.75 or higher as well. They do not have a minimum MCAT. They don't have competitive GPA or MCAT. And then they claim 40 to 60% of their students go on to professional school 
whether that's medical school or PA school or dental school. They don't really have a stat for just medical school, but I'd say the majority of those people go on to medical school. And I don't know if this stat has changed. It says that their class size is 32 students. Um, but keep in mind that these stats were about 2017 to 2019. It just varies from school to school. So I always recommend emailing the admissions advisors and double checking on these numbers and kind of getting their current stats. The fourth school is RCOM, which is a medical school in Arkansas. They don't have any minimums for MCAT or GPA, and they don't have a competitive GPA or MCAT. This is a fairly new program. They actually rolled it out this year as the first class, I believe, 2020 and they were actually only charging $5,000 for the entire year just for this first class. Now, I don't know if they're gonna do that for the second or third classes, so definitely email them and find out because, because if you can do a special master's program for $5,000, I would definitely jump on board there. Now, Arcom has very close relations with Kansas City, and so I'm imagining that they're gonna have a very similar program in that if you complete the requirements, it's gonna be extremely easy to get into the medical school. Not to mention, since it is in the early stages of their program, they're probably only accepting, you know, 20 to 30 to 40 students right now. So smaller class sizes, cheaper education, and very good odds of getting into the medical school. All right, so the fifth school is PCOM. So I believe that's in Pennsylvania, but they have three campuses. And I believe all three campuses have the special master's program. And when I was looking up this school, I was actually really impressed. They don't have a minimum MCAT or GPA. However, if you have a 3.2 cumulative GPA, you don't even need to take the MCAT. And so this is one way in which you guys can go to medical school without an MCAT score. And so they don't have a competitive MCAT score but their competitive GPA, I put 3.2 because if you have that, you don't need to submit an MCAT. And like I said, they have three campuses and I believe all three do the special master's program, but don't hold me to that. But if they do, you have three chances of getting into one of their campuses. All right, so the sixth school is AT Still University and that is in Missouri, and they have a minimum GPA of 2.65 cumulative, and they didn't really specify on if you need a certain science GPA, so I would just go off of 2.6 for the cumulative, which is actually really nice because most people's science GPA is lower than the cumulative, and I would bet that most people have at least a 2.6 cumulative. I know in my situation when I was applying, I had a 3.3 cumulative, but it was my science that killed me, and that was a 2.7. So as long as your cumulative is above a 2.65, I would definitely apply. They don't have a minimum MCAT. Their competitive GPA is a 3.2 cumulative and a 3.0 science. They don't have a competitive MCAT score, so that's nice. And on their website, it said their class size was only 10 students. So I don't know if I was looking at like a wrong program or something, but I would definitely shoot them an email if you plan on applying to that school. All right, so the seventh school is LeeCom, and they also have two campuses. Their minimum GPA is a 2.7 cumulative. They don't have a minimum MCAT, and they don't have a competitive MCAT or GPA. All right, so the eighth school is Toro, and I know they have several medical school campuses. I'm not sure if they're doing multiple campuses for the special master's program, so definitely look into that. They have a minimum cumulative and science GPA of 3.0 which is, that's pretty hefty for someone trying to get into a special master's program. And I know they are very stingy on their GPAs because I emailed them about the medical school minimums and they do not budge. So if you don't have a 3.0 science or cumulative, just don't apply there because it's just gonna be a no. And they don't have a minimum MCAT, which is nice. Competitive GPA, I just put 3.0 no competitive MCAT, and yeah. So the ninth school is Western. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with Western. They're known to be one of the top DO schools in the country, but I still think KCU is slightly better than Western in everything except location. You can't beat Southern California, so I'll give Western 
location. So Western Special Master's Program requires a 2.5 GPA and they don't have a minimum MCAT. A competitive GPA for Western is 3.2 and a competitive MCAT for Western is 499. They had listed on their website that the class size is between 25 and 35 students. Um, I don't know if you guys really care about that, but the bigger class size, the better chance you guys have of getting in. So I guess maybe take that into consideration. All right, so the 10th school is LMU DeBusque College of Medicine. They have a minimum GPA of 3.0 for cumulative and science, but they did make mention that if you have an upward trend in your grades, and I'm assuming that means if your GPA is still below a 3.0, but you've been improving over the last couple semesters, then you can still apply. They do have a minimum MCAT, which they're one of the few schools that has a minimum MCAT, but it's a 492, which is fairly low. I know for me, I couldn't apply there because originally I had a 491 MCAT. Um, but for MCATs, schools seem to be more lenient, so definitely shoot them an email if you're MCAT is below a 492. They don't have a competitive GPA. They don't have a competitive MCAT. All right, so the 11th special master's program is Marion University College of Medicine. They have a minimum GPA of 2.75 and a minimum MCAT of 491. So they're another school that has a minimum MCAT. Like I said, email them if your MCAT's below there and I'm sure they would accommodate you appropriately. So Maybe just double check that. They have listed that their competitive GPA is a 3.3 cumulative and a 3.2 science and a competitive MCAT for them is a 499. Now they did have listed that 85% of their graduating class has gone on to professional school. Again, I don't know if that's completely medical school or dental school. Those are usually the two big ones. I would say the majority of these students are going on to medical school. And they do have a class size of 140 to 150 students. So this is actually one of the biggest class sizes. And so that kind of means you have a better chance of getting in there. And so I guess just take that into consideration when looking at schools. Now your 12th special master's program is offered at the Incarnate Word College of Medicine in Texas. I always thought this school had the weirdest name and yeah, I don't, I don't know if it has anything to do with what they teach or their philosophy or what. They have a minimum GPA of a 3.0, no minimum MCAT, and then they have listed a competitive GPA as a 3.4 cumulative and a 3.2 science. So those are also pretty high for competitive. Their competitive MCAT is a 495. And then they have listed 60% of their students go on to medical school and their class size is 45 to 50 students. The 13th special master's program is VCOM and they actually don't offer it at their school. They do it through Bluefield College so I would look into that. Um, I didn't really want to look into that too much, but I noticed that it wasn't actually at their campus. It was at like a local college that offered it, but it's still like a partnership. And if you do well in, in the Bluefield College master's program, you do have an opportunity to get into the VCOM School of Medicine. Now VCOM is known to be a very good DO school and they do have higher minimums and so their GPA minimum is a 3.0. They don't have a minimum MCAT for the program but their competitive GPA is 3.2 and their competitive MCAT is a 496. Now they said on the website I believe that you still need to have a 496 in order to be accepted into the medical school. So if you complete the special master's program there and don't have a 496, I don't believe that they will accept you. So definitely keep that in mind. And then you guys will see on my list that the percentage of students that get accepted into medical school is academic based. And so that goes along with the whole MCAT thing. If you don't have above a 496 MCAT, they're probably not accepting you into the medical school. And so I would say if you don't have a 496 MCAT before applying to this school, then just don't apply to it because you still have to get your MCAT above that number or your special master's program is kind of a waste. And then they do have a bigger class size. It's 130 students 
And so I would imagine that this is a very competitive program. Not to say the other ones aren't competitive, but these are probably students that have a little bit higher MCAT. And so that's the type of person you're gonna be competing with. And so our last special master's program is at William Carey College of Medicine. They have a minimum GPA of 2.7. They have a minimum MCAT of 495. They have a competitive GPA of 3.0 and a competitive MCAT of 500. They claim that 80% of their graduating class goes on to medical school. And I would imagine that it's into their medical school since that number is so high. They doesn't list a class size, but that doesn't really matter. So guys, those are all of the special master's programs that I could find offered by DO schools. And like I made mention throughout the video, definitely email the admissions counselors at these schools, or at least at the schools that you're interested in applying to. Find out more information about when you need to submit your application. Most all of these schools say you need to complete all of the requirements before applying. So it's not like medical school where you can where you could be actively finishing your degree and still apply. For a special master's program, you basically have to be graduated and have completed all of the requirements. And also, like I said, I'm gonna put the link to this Google Doc down below. You can also find it on our Facebook page. It's called Med School Mentor. You can talk one-on-one -on -one with me if you guys are completely confused about all of this stuff. I do free consults. Um, if you guys want, you can book a call with me and we can definitely create you a plan if that's what you need. Um, everything is very personalized when you guys are speaking with me. So I definitely take into consideration not only your MCAT and your GPA, but also your personal situation. I know everybody's going through something and that definitely makes a big difference when applying to certain schools over others. And so if you guys need a little bit extra help, definitely shoot me a message on my Facebook page. The link is also down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.